Hello, my name is Dwayne Blair, and today we're gonna to take a look at a punch jam. You probably hear the term punch jam and think, what is that? Well, kind of made it up. It's a bit of a slang term that we use. But if you remember back at the video when we talked about jam turns, and a jam turn is something that players use all the time, down low in the offensive zone or defensive zone, in order to be evasive and get away from players. It's a tight turn where they drive their front foot out, almost like a side stop, glide around, cross over and get away from traffic and create time and space with players. A punch jam is kind of the baby brother of the jam turn. So a punch jam is half of a jam turn. And if we look at the video, as players come in, we're gonna to try to be evasive. And the more evasive a player can be, the better that player is gonna be all around in every area of the ring. When a player is attacking an opponent, they're gonna come in and they're gonna fake like they're going to the left or the right. If they're coming in towards an opponent, they're gonna turn the toes of their skates to the right side and then quickly jam their left foot in order to carry around the left side of that opponent and drive the net. The more evasive a player can become, the more opportunity they're gonna create for themselves. And if we look at a punch jam, when we're attacking a player, if I'm gonna fake to the left side, I'm gonna drive my toe caps to the left side, making that player think I'm going to the left and quickly I'm gonna jam my right foot in the ice and cut to the right side of that player. It's very important that we use that puck and our stick properly. We wanna sell that we're gonna to go to the left side by carrying the puck to, on the left side of our body. As soon as I jam that right foot, I'm gonna pull my puck to the right side of my body, away from that player, and drive around the right side of that player. The punch jam is a very effective move, but we also have to keep in mind that our stick and puck have to move just as quickly. If I'm attacking a player and I'm going to the right side, my toe caps are going to the right side of that player's body. And as soon as I get my left foot out front and jam that foot down, I need to pull that puck across to the left side of my body quickly in order to keep it away from that player's body and stick to get around them on the left side. Players can be evasive in any area of the rink. If I'm a defenseman and I have a player back checking on me and I'm coming in to retrieve a puck, I can always fake like I can go to the left and then punch jam quick and get out on the right. If I'm a defenseman coming back on a retrieval and I have pressure, I can always fake like I'm gonna to go to the right side and then quickly jam and turn to the left in order to escape, create time and space and make a play to get out of our zone. We often see players use a punch jam when they're attacking defenders. They're entering the zone, pushing the defenseman back, coming down the right side of the ice as a left-handed shot, pretending like they're gonna drive deep and then quickly they jam their left foot, cut to the middle and release a shot. Right-handed players would do the same thing coming down the left side of the rink attacking that defender, pretending like they're gonna go deep and quickly jamming that right foot, cutting across and releasing a puck. The more players practice and begin to perfect the punch jam, the more evasive they're gonna become all over the ice. The punch jam gives players the ability to become evasive and unpredictable to opponents. As they're attacking or they're retrieving a puck, they can change directions quickly under control by adding speed and ultimately creating space in order to make plays on the offensive zone or in the defensive zone anywhere on the ice.